वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू रीड्स बायोलॉजी टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ प्लांट किंगडम द एलगी देर क्लोरोफिल बियरिंग सिंपल थैलाइट प्लांट्स एंड ऑफकोर्स ऑटोट्रॉफिक दे कैन मेक देयर फूड बाय फोटोसिंथेसिस they are largely aquatic both fresh water and marine water plants they also habitat on moist stones soils and wood some of them live with fungi in form of lichen and with animals on sloth bear some colonial algae are also found they are volvox many volvox cell join together and make a colony filamentous forms also found like eulothrix and spirogyra some are made in like kelps they form huge massive structure some of them as tall as 100 meters their reproduction is by vegetative reproduction by fragmentation each fragment develops into a thallus or by asexual reproduction by spores most common spores are zoospores they are flagellated motile and on germination they produce new plants or sexual reproduction by fusion of two gametes these gametes can be flagellated and similar in size like in eulothrix or non flagellated non motile but similar in size like seen in spirogyra this kind of reproduction is known as isogamous iso means same fusion of two gametes dissimilar in size like happened in eudorina is known as anisogamous and fusion between one large non motile female gamete and a smaller motile male gamete is vogamous like seen in volvox and fucus let's discuss about their uses half of the total carbon dioxide fixation on earth is carried out by algae by photosynthesis they add oxygen to the air they are the primary producers of all aquatic animals porphyra laminaria sargassum this algae are used as food algin brown algae carrageen red algae they produce hydrocolloids this is a water rich holding substance and this substance is used commercially agar used to grow microbes in lab in uh, or in preparation of ice cream and jellies obtained from gelidium and gracilaria chlorella is a unicellular fungi a unicellular algae and this is rich in proteins used as food supplements for by the space, space travelers algae is subdivided into three different types chlorophyce phyophyce and rhodophyce we will discuss chlorophyce in first they are also known as green algae they are unicellular colonial or filamentous algae they are green because of the green pigment chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b and this is situated inside chloroplast chloroplast is a cell organelle inside every plant cell and this shape can be described plate like reticulate cup shaped spiral or ribbon shaped most of them have pyrenoids inside their chloroplast pyrenoid is a storage body that store mainly protein some store food as oil droplets they have a rigid cell wall the inner layer is cellulose and outer layer pectose their reproduction vegetative reproduction by fragmentation 
or by formation of different types of spores. Asexual reproduction by flagellated spores produced in zoosporangia or sexual reproduction by isogamous, anisogamous or vogamous. Some examples of green algae are Clamidomonas, Volvox, Eulothrix, Spirogyra and Chara. Now we will discuss about Phyophyce or brown algae. They are mainly made in algae found in the ocean. They are simple branched filamentous like in Ectocarpus or profusely branched like kelps which are 100 meters tall. They have chlorophyll A, carotenoids and xanthophylls. Their color varies from olive green to different shades of brown depending on the amount of xanthophyll and fucoxanthin present inside them. Their cells have cellulosic wall covered by a gelatinous coating of algin. Inside of the cell wall, a centrally located vacuole and a nucleus situated. Their vacuoles store carbohydrates in form of laminarin or mannitol. Their plant body usually attached to a substratum by a hold first and has a stalk which is type and a leaf-like photosynthetic organ that is frowned. The frown and the stripe these two structures are attached by a hold first. Their vegetative reproduction is done by fragmentation, asexual reproduction by biflagellate spores that is zoospores which is pear shaped and it has two unequal laterally attached flagella or sexual reproduction by isogamous, anisogamous or vogamous types. Union of gametes may take place in water or within vogonium. Some examples are gametes are pear shaped, their gametes are pear shaped or pyriform. The pear shaped form is known as pyriform and bear two laterally attached flagella. Some examples of brown algae or firefacy are ectocarpus, dictyota, laminaria, sargassum, and fucus. Now we will discuss about the last part of algae, the rhodophyce or red algae. They are red because of the pigment are phycoerythrin. They are made in, mainly found in varbaces. They occur in both well lighted areas close to surface of water and in great depths of ocean where little light penetrates. They are multicellular. Some of them have complex body organization like in higher plants. They store food in form of fluoridine starch and this starch is very similar to amylopectin and glycogen found in mainly animal cells. Their vegetative reproduction is done by fragmentation, asexual reproduction by non motile spores, and sexual reproduction by non motile gametes or vogamas, accompanied by complex post fertilization development. Some examples of rhodophyce or red algae are Polysiphonia, Porphyra, Gracilaria, Gelidium, etc. Thank you for watching. Like and share with your friends and subscribe to its biology for next part. Next day, we will start Bry Fights. Till then, take care and bye.